going to be a great day. We'd like to thank all of the sponsors, the many sponsors that make this event possible. They gave their time, their monies, to make this event a great day for you all. We'd also like you, for you to recognize all the folks in the orange shirts that have helped out here today. All of the uh, local law enforcement has representatives, some of their officers and staff that are here helping to facilitate today's event. We'd like for you to recognize them and thank them for their service and also for making today's event possible. Also, there are a lot of folks in the orange shirts that are staff. This day would not be possible without every single person contributing to make today's 2019 Allegheny Bike Rodeo possible. We'd like to make sure everybody is around the pavilion. We're going to get kicked off here in just a few minutes. I know that it's going to be a good day of competition. You all, are, well, Some of you all are going to be very lucky and driving or riding our way on a brand new bicycle. You see all the bikes that are around here and all of the helmets and different things that uh, have been given here today. Also, we'd like to recognize the liter literacy in the Highlands book tent. Please go by there. They have a free book for you. If you come by and just check out their tent, they have a free book for you to take home. So go by and see the literacy in the Highlands book tent. Try to get in here and get just as close as you can. All right, folks, gather in. I'm going to turn this over to Pastor Jeff. Uh, who will then turn it over to Alan Dressler. So Pastor Jeff with the Finn Castle Baptist Church, we thank you for coming here today. We're going to ask that you say a prayer for us, sir. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful day that we have today. Thank you for holding the weather off. And I pray, Lord, that you would help as we go throughout the day. Keep us safe. Help us to have a good time and enjoy this day and have fun. Thank you for those that have worked hard to make this day happen. God, I pray that you would bless us today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Jeff. All right, we're going to turn it over to Alan Ressler. Good morning, everybody. Uh, first and foremost, as the preacher said, thank God for a beautiful day. Uh, we pray for each and every one's safety. We pray for each and every one's enjoyment today and we thank God for the resources that allows us to do these things for the residents of the Allegheny Highlands and Bath. So again, every time you pass by somebody today, say thank you. On behalf of the City of Covington, we certainly welcome you. Uh, kudos, thanks to my staff in Parks and Recreation and Public Works for all they do to give you this beautiful place to hang out and enjoy having a bike rodeo. Uh, big thanks to the law enforcement agency Chris, Chris, and Kevin, and, and all the folks that are involved in this, and to our business community for the support of this activity. Today, across from you, I have a ball tournament going on. We've had this before. Our out-of-town visitors cannot get over the fact that we do this for our kids here in the community. So always be appreciative of things. Nothing wrong with saying thank you. I love the maroon and orange t-shirts. Go Hokies. Do I get one of those? Go Hokies. All right. No. All right. No. Okay. No. Uh, also, I'd like to give a, a shout out to Jerry Clark with the Allegheny Journal. Thank you, Jerry, because he knows that Alan Dressler is always about the good stuff here in the Allegheny Highlands. So thank you, Jerry, for being here and getting a clip of our kids to get a chance to interview one of them today. So with that being said, again, thanks to all these folks. Thank to all you folks and go Packers. Hey guys, y'all want to win some bikes today? Let me hear you. You want to win some bikes? I went loud enough. Do you want to win some bikes? All right. Hey, a couple of things we got to do. A couple of housekeeping notes we want to remind you as well. First and foremost, we're glad you're here. If anybody here has a hiccup with something today, we have, if you can't find your child or something like that would happen, find somebody in one of the orange staff shirts. And if you get away from your parents, we hope you don't, but if you do, stand by with one of the law enforcement, whether it's got a 
volunteer shirt or whoever in the orange. That way we can get you where you need to go and you're not just roaming around the park. Okay? Uh, guys, we got over 200 bikes to give away. And we have a bunch of gift cards to give away too. So if you don't win a bike today, you will leave here with a prize. Is everybody good with that? Are you good with that? All right. We need to recognize we need to recognize a few individuals and then we're going to do our bike safety presentation and then we're going to tell you guys where to go and we're going to get started and we're going to rock and roll and we're going to have a good time, right? We're going to have a good time, right? At this time, at this time, I would like to ask, uh, well, let me, I tell you what, let me do, let me get uh Police Chief coming to Police Chief Chris Smith to come up and say a few words to you. Then we're going to do a little special presentation. Then we get you guys on your way and Sheriff Hall and everything, okay? Chris? Last time I walked up and turned the microphone on me. Hey, uh, you guys ready for today? All right, Chris likes you all to yell. I like you to yell a lot louder. So one more time. You guys ready for today? Now, real quick today is important. What we try to teach you guys is bike safety. So when you guys are on the courses, you guys are protected. What's one of the main things you gotta do when you're riding your bike? You gotta wear your helmet, right? You always gotta wear your helmet. There was one time, I got a personal story. I had, I played football, so I had all my football pads. I had everything, everything to protect me. The one thing I did while I was riding my bike, I didn't wear my helmet, I fell over and I got hurt. So it's really important of all the safety equipment that you have, the helmet's the most important, but the elbow pads and the knee pads are just as important. You guys got to remember when you ride your bikes, if you ride your bikes on the street, you got to follow You got to follow the rules just like anywhere else. I, we don't want you riding on the street, but if you happen to be on the street, just make sure get yourself off to the side of the road so you don't have any problems with any cars. Um, guys, when you ride your bikes today, the big, big thing you got to remember, make sure you guys know which brake to hit. You don't want to hit the front brake and flip the bike over. So you got to make sure you're hitting the back brakes when you're on the bike. Ask the, uh, if you didn't bring your own bike, ask the uh, individuals that are uh, helping you out, the guys in the orange shirts, which is rich, so you guys don't hurt yourselves today, okay? I really appreciate you guys coming out. We do this every year. We do it for you kids. And um, thank you very much. All right, hey, by the way, today when you are riding in the courses, listen to this. You have to wear a helmet, you have to wear the knee pads and the elbow pads, whether you're 4 or 14 or any age in between, if you ride in the course, that's the deal. You have to do that today, okay? So make sure, even though you may not want to, that's the rules, we're here to teach safety. There's a lot of businesses on the back of these shirts that have sponsored this. Shout outs, uh, uh, Tara Simmons Brewster, first class working with us too, raising some money. We raised a lot of money to put this on for you guys today, okay? So we want you to have fun. What we're going to do right now is we're going to recognize uh, some individuals. And we will ask if uh, retired Clinton Force Police Chief Barry Balzer, would you please come forward? And his family? Almost done, guys. And then we're going to get going. Hey guys, listen up, okay? Hey, every year, guys, we're almost done. Every year, we always recognize a few guys. Listen, guys, listen up. Every year, we always recognize a few individuals that have gone beyond the call to support the bike rodeo. And this gentleman here, uh, Chief Balls, were just retired, and this year, end of February, and he always saw to it. He always saw to it, no matter how the staff issues were going, whether he had all of his officers or officers out, this gentleman always made sure that we had volunteers to be here for the bike rodeo. How many years did you have, Chief? 35 years of service. Y'all give him a hand. That's a long time. 
So to put that in perspective, I'll be 40 this year. So when I was five years old, he began his law enforcement career. I want to put something else into perspective too, though. My first job was in Clifton Forge as a police officer, and this was the man that hired me. And so I'm forever grateful for that, Barry, and I appreciate that. Guys, I'm going to let Sheriff Hall present the plaque to him and read it to him. And, and uh, just if you see Chief Balls around today and Debbie, make sure you thank them. And uh, Debbie, too, will tell you it's not always easy being a spouse of a police officer, is it? So, Sheriff? Yeah, especially the Chief. Chief Balls, if you come up here, I'll present this to you and Debbie. Uh, this is presented 23rd Annual Allegheny House Bike Radio, presented to B.G. Bowser, retired Club Force Police Chief, for your continued support over the years to the annual Allegheny House Bike Radio. Your records to provide staff will forever be remembered and appreciated. Thank you for your service to our citizens and you. He doesn't want to say anything. We, uh, we have another award, and uh, two more, and we'll be, we will be done. And I'm going to keep it brief here. My thing today is patience. That's all I'm going to say is have patience. Have patience with us. We'll have patience with you. It's getting hot, so please be patient, because everything is free. And I'm between you and a hot dog and, and a bike. So. I'm going to present this to uh, Interim Chief Chris Smith. It's presented to J.B. Brookman, retired Covenant City Police Chief for his continued support over the years to the annual Allegheny House Bike Radio. His efforts to provide staff will forever be remembered and appreciated. And thank you for his service to our citizens and you. I want to thank J.D. Seary. Thank you, Jeff. Last one. Thank you, Jeff. As a family, anyone here from the family, guys, listen up, from the late Wayne Walls. Is anyone here? For the Lawson family. I thought she was coming. John said she was coming. Hold on. Are you talking to Is he good? Anyone here from the family of Wayne Lawson? Are you talking to Yes. I can't arrest anybody today. Today's all about winning bicycles, right? Yeah! Alan. 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 Hey guys, real quick. Last year, uh, right after the bike rodeo, one of our sponsors, and I think Alan Dresser would tell you the same thing, one of the guys that always made it a point to make signs for us or things like that we needed was Wayne Lawson. And he didn't just do that for the bike rodeo, he did that for many, many, many organizations. Very kind man, very giving. Even if people didn't have money to pay for things, he would find a way to donate it. And so a lot of these signs that you see around town was done from Wayne. So this time I'm going to ask the sheriff if he would present this in memory of Wayne Lawson. Present to the family of the late Wayne, the sign man Lawson. Wayne will always be remembered and appreciated for his generosity to the citizens of the Allegheny Islands. Wayne was a true friend to many, went above and beyond to help people, and made many contributions to people on a daily basis. I'm going to present this and to Mr. Alan Dressler, who will give it to the family. <laughs> Just, just real quick, and, and it's an honor for me to accept this on behalf of uh, Julie and, and the Lawson family. Um, the sheriff and these guys said it right. Wayne, he, he loves you guys. There was never a second that he didn't go out of his way to make things happen for us. For 27 years, Wayne and I have worked together on signs and thanked people and welcomed people and told you where to go and told you how to get there and told you what to do in some instances. So. Uh, it is, a, again, an honor for me. I look to the heavens today, and I'm sure Sign Man is smiling down on us, 
And for those of you that are of our age, Wayne and I had a little thing about signs that said, sign says, long haired freaky people need not apply. God bless you, Wayne. All right, guys. Hey, just to let everybody know, we're getting ready to break up. If something happened, you didn't get registered. They're getting ready to cut it off. So if you're not registered, you better real quick.